All right, Pet Man Matt Marshall at Football Insiders. We're back once again. Uh, very excited to continue featuring unsigned seniors um, as we go through this crazy pandemic. Uh, tonight, we're going to be speaking with a, a young man who I think is very talented um, on both sides of the football, which is why I've listed him as an athlete. Um, you know, just incredible in space um, on the offensive side of the football. And then on defense, he has great instincts. He's not afraid of contact. Um, and then he just flies through the football. And that is Jake Snap, uh, athlete with the Butler Bulldogs. And I'm going to bring him on with me right now. All right, Jake, how you doing, sir? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. appreciate you, you know, taking some time out and uh, talking with us about, you know, you and um, all the things you've done in the first three years of your career. Um, the first thing I want to ask you is, um, just in your opinion, what are your strengths as a football player? For me, I think that, um, uh, I mean, you know, I'm on a little bit of a smaller side, but I think that I have a lot of heart and I play hard and I've gone against a lot of bigger players and it hasn't, it hasn't bothered me. And I actually like competition. Like it, it makes me play better. And yeah. Okay, very good. Very good. And and I agree. You know, some of the times that I've been in most impressed with you are when you are just able to, you know, absolutely on defense. I remember one time you just laid this guy out against Barry and he was a bigger guy than you and um mm -hmm. I was super yeah, impressed. <laughs> And then and offensively, I mean, you know, when you get in space, you just, you know, run away from people all the time. And, you know, you do it from multiple positions. And we'll see that in your film here in just a second. Um, but to follow up, you know, we know that um, you're unsigned. And um, you told me before this, there are some schools interested in you right now. So what are you looking for from a school ideally on the next level? Um, primarily. Uh like a family center school and school that's that's um, there for for everyone there and f football wise just coaches I can go to to talk about with everything including football so not just coaches that like coaches that aren't there just for um, the football they actually care for you stuff like that so yeah Absolutely, because, I mean, it's a place you're going to be at for a long time, hopefully, you know, three, four years, five years, you know, depending on the situation. So mm -hmm. you want to be in a caring environment where, you know, people really, truly want you there, not only for what you can do on the field, but for the person you are off the field. So I, you know, I definitely agree with what you said right there. Um, so my last question before we look at your film, why should a school take a chance and offer you Jake Snap? you know, the athlete that's at Butler right now? Um, for me, I think that, well, I know that I will give you all that I have and I'm a good teammate and I really, like, I really put my all into, into this sport and it's what I, it's what I love to do. And I think that everyone that I played for and played against sees that in me and I'm not, I wouldn't be, a waste at all. Very good. Very good. And if I was, you know, a coach looking at you, you know, I'd feel, you know, very comfortable with offering you and bringing you into my program. Cause that's, you know, a coach's dream right there. You know, someone that's going to sell out, you know, for my team and for my program. So, you know, that's awesome right there, man. All right. So let's take a look um, at your film right here. And I'm, um, you know, I, I might get a little excited because I'm just going back in my mind, seeing you live and, you know, there were some comments I had to edit out on my highlights when I did them, <laughs> just shooting it live. So this is going to be good stuff. All right, here we go. All right, so you're down here at receiver. I mean, it don't get no better than that right there. It don't get no better. All right, so let's go back, and you take us through this right here, Jake. What are you thinking at the snap? Well, first off, I noticed uh, that is man-to-man. -man. They just have – at the line of scene, they just had 
one safety that was kind of in the middle of the field. And at, at the start of the play, mm-hmm. he moved inside. And uh, I beat the the cornerback right off the ball. So after that, I knew I, I had a touchdown. Yeah, because, I mean, you, right there, the release is the key. The release gave you the, the distance that you needed, and then your speed just, you know, he couldn't make it up. And, you know, that's easy six. Easy six. So this is, you know, showing your game breaking ability right here. Um, you know, when I saw that, I think we were at this game, and I saw that, and I said, "Oh no, that's not a that's not a good defense." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got right here. Oh, are you on defense? Okay. Oh, that's against the U. Oh, I might mm-hmm. feel some type of way about this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All okay. right, so talk talk to – yeah, this is a great play. So talk to us uh, about this one right here. Uh, I think this was third down, third and like – third and ten or something. And uh, I just knew I had to make the play, stop him before, stop him before he gets, gets to the marker. And we were down that game, so we had to come up with a stop. So I had to do – and he was – Yeah, I, I was – yeah, I was at this game. I remember this play really well. And um, yeah, he's a big, he's a six four, he's a big kid. So, you know, the ability to break down, come out of coverage, make that tackle, stop him for the first down. Um, that's great. That's ex- that's that's exactly what we were just talking about. Is you making plays against bigger guys that are physically stronger, but you find a way to get it done every time. Yes, sir. So that's a good job right there. All right, so now you're at running back. Little toss. Oh, my goodness. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, no one – and there's no way when I first looked at this play, because this is my first time seeing this particular play. I would not – the way the defense is aligned and the pursuit to the ball, there's no way you should score on this. Mm-hmm. All right, so take us through this. It looks like just a little toss off the left side, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so on this play, they they actually play. I thought they played pretty good defense, but they weren't. They didn't really bring. They weren't really trying to tackle me. I guess. So, I just kept running, and wasn't going to let the arm tackles and them just trying to throw their bodies at me bring me down. Yeah, I mean it's impressive the fact that you know this shows the power that you have behind you know your frame. You did mention you're not the, the biggest kid, but you know, this shows power, speed, and heart all on this play. I'm going to break this down real quick and just show how many tackles you break right here. All right, so there's one right there, two right there, three right there, four right there, and then five at the end when you score. I mean, that's incredible. That's incredible for a kid that's your size when they have, you know, that much leverage on you. So, you know, that's super impressive right there. I mean, and that's not against a team that's – that's a playoff team. That's West Met. So mm-hmm. that's not that's against, you know, somebody that's not good. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got a little special team action. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so take us through this. What's your assignment on uh, special teams right here? I'm normally the, like, uh, other than the, the punter, I'm I'm just the last guy of defense. So, mm-hmm. yeah, the, the returner came, came over to our side, came over, like, my way, and I just tackled him, put my shoulder down. Just you laid him out. You laid him out pretty good over there. <laughs> yeah. I think he hit his coach or something like that on the sideline. Wow, that's just nasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, being physical, making a solo tackle in space, that's a good job. All right, so you're at receiver now. Back at receiver. A bunch formation, crossing route. Good stuff. Now, I like this for a couple of reasons. So let's get back to the start of that. 
All right, here we go. All right, so take us through this, Drake. This play, when I, as soon as I caught the ball, I just saw a lot of green grass. And mm -hmm. I just took off, just used my speed, and almost scored. Yeah, you had a couple guys that had the angle on you. Mm -hmm. But um, what, what route were you running right here? I just had, I think it was like a 10-yard cross, if I remember. Mm -hmm. um, we it, it was a perfect play call because the zone just opened up. Like, there was no one there. The linebacker goes down to play the back, and then the corner's man on the backside, and the safeties went, went after uh, our point man. Yeah, and you're exactly right about, you know, the assignments because if you look, it's a good play design because you got a guy running a seam route, mm -hmm. and everyone goes with that seam route. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. three yeah, guys on it. literally go with the seam right here, mm -hmm. and then it just opens it up for you right there. So that's, that's good design, good execution, and then your, you know, ability makes it a huge game-breaking play right there. So that's good stuff. I like the variety of plays here, too, because you're showing that, you know, you can play so many different positions, which is awesome. Yes, sir. Thank you. So a nice kickoff return right here. All right. Let's break this down. Let me get back to the beginning there. Okay. All right. So take us through. What, so what are you even seeing on kickoff returns? Is it something that you're just using natural ability or are you reading blocks or what, what goes through your mind on this? So kickoff, um, I like to get the ball and see where like the lanes kind of open up because I can normally tell like when, when there's going to be a hole. So mm -hmm. right there, the first guy misses me and um, then our one of our guys makes a really good block to get the next guy, in, which opened a tiny little crease. Then I was able to get through that, mm -hmm. and then I just used my speed after that. I think that was Dwayne with the block. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this is impressive across the board because you get once again there are multiple guys in position to make the play, and then one of their safety guys just ends up you know being in position to make the play. But once again, I want to I'm going to slow it down and, and stop it and just show how many people you actually run past on your own right here. And there's two right there from the jump. Two more you split right there. That's four. Mm -hmm. Five. Six. And then that guy gets the angle on you. So usually what we tell people when I coach on kickoff return is you got to make one guy miss and everyone else yeah. should block for you. Mm -hmm. In this case, you made six miss. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you more than uh, definitely did your job on this. So this, you know, once again is is you know special stuff right here. So we'll take a look at one more and see what we got. All right, back on defense, nice. Oh, this is the one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Jake, take us through this right here. I came down into the box from free safety because we were running the blitz and it was and then it was just straight man to man across the board. And they ran the screen earlier that they gained. They had like a 60 yard gain. So as soon as I seen the. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was the receiver go out to go out for, for the block. I just came down on it because I knew where they were going and I made a good good hit on the receiver. Yeah, because I, I remember that play that they had was a big play was a highlight for them in that mm -hmm. game. But um, I don't think they ran this anymore after this. <laughs> yeah, no, they didn't. So, and once again, physical. And that, that kid right there is a really good player. He's a good-sized kid. So, mm -hmm. you know, once again, you're not letting your size, you know, determine how successful you are and just being physical at the point of attack. And the great thing I like about it, contact as soon as the ball gets there. That's awesome from a DB perspective. You know, there's no flag that can be made on this. You know, it's a good physical hit. Um, just all around the board. That's awesome stuff. All right, we'll do one more because I like this play. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so take us through this, Jake. So this one, I think we were fourth quarter. I think we had about like two minutes left. Um, and we mm-hmm. we they had they had got a lot of momentum back, so we had to score on this. Um, so I got the jet sweep and got right right underneath that one, the one defender, and then mm-hmm. I just I mean it's kind of hard to explain, but I just broke broke the rest of the tackles and it almost was down actually. Um, I have a yeah. picture of, of like how low my knee was to the ground. But yeah, I was almost was down mm-hmm. and then stayed up and scored. I mean, that's incredible. I, I don't think I've I've very rarely seen anything like that happen. Because your momentum was stopping. Usually the official will just blow it dead, assuming that the play's over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I mean, that's the testament right there to not stopping unless you hear the whistle. And you know, that's something we used to tell people all the time when I coached. So, you know, that's a great job of, you know, doing your job, being relentless and, you know, letting your natural ability, you know, get an important score for you guys. So, you know, that's that's great stuff right there, man. All right. So, you know, Jake, you know, the, the thing I love about this is you showed how many positions you can be a contributor at on the next level. You showed it on special teams, offense and defense. And. You know, if I was a coach, you know, you could be one of those guys that, you know, actually plays all of those, you know, as a, you know, kind of special hybrid athlete, you know, at the, the, the uh, next level. And, um, you know, I, I think you'd be great at in any of those. Um, do you have a preference for any position? Um, If I had to pick, I'd say receiver. I'm starting to – that's starting to become more my favorite. But, I mean, I, I really like everything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But I like defense too. Corner, I'm pl- I'm playing corner corner more um, at Butler mm-hmm. more than safety. So, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that would be for defense. But yeah, I like receiver is my favorite. All right, awesome, good stuff, man. Well, you know, like I said, we're gonna promote you. You know, I think you're a, a great kid. You know, you're a great athlete, very good in the classroom as well. Come from a good family. Um, I think you'll be an asset to a program on the next level, man. So, you know, once again, I thank you for the time tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, for real. Absolutely.